that's it. Blackout easy, uh, window cover, RV. Hi, I'm Tim Stanley with Blackout Easy Window Covers. Here today to do a product install of the RV covers. All right, the first thing you need to do, you need to measure. So I'll just use standard tape measure and I always measure kind of close to the corners because that's where it's gonna be most accurate. So I'll pull the tape measure across and I get 49 inches, okay? Same thing on the top. I never measure in the middle because it, sometimes it, uh, it'll uh, kind of slope in on the inside. So same thing, I'm pulling the corners. And this is 30. So it's got 49 wide by 30 tall. So that's, that's our window dimension. The next thing we need to do, RV windows have a radius corner. So we need to determine what that radius is. And if you go on our website, we have a download corner radius template for you to use. We have one for uh, half inch increments, and then we also have one for a quarter and three quarter inch increments. So you cut these out and you fit it to your window, and you need to put that information so when you order your cover, we know what size uh, radius your window is. So I'm gonna start off. Just Take your template, and I know this is not a 5.5 or 4.5, so I'm gonna just start off at five inches, and I'm gonna cut it on the template. We got the window open, it's a very nice day, so we kinda in here, and me and the cameraman kinda enjoying the day. Friday afternoon. All right, so I'm cutting it down and I'm gonna show you how to find your radius there. So right now I'm cutting down uh, to five inches. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna put it in the corner and you see that it's kind of overshooting the frame in the window so i know it's not a five inch radius so i'm gonna take it again and i'm gonna cut it down again to 4.5 radius 4.5 inches and you're gonna keep doing this until you find out a curve that fits and i'm gonna tell you why this is important later on so now I cut it down to 4.5, put it on the corner, make sure it's kind of perpendicular and horizontal, and you see now it's still overshooting the curve, so I know it's 4.5 inches too big. So I'm gonna cut it down again. And I know everybody used to use a little fat finger scissors when you was in uh, school, so you should be able to do this. All right, that's four inches, and look at that. See how good that fit on that curve? That's how you know you got a four inch window, and you see the four inches right there. So that tells you my radius, and that's important because when you put in your dimensions, we're gonna cut the cover to fit that, and also give you die cut. Uh, hook and loop tape to fit that so it's important you get that right so our window is 49 by 30 inches and we have a four inch radius so that's what you put in when you order your cover all right so now we have that in place the cover arrives all right so now we're gonna do the install first thing you should do Let's take a little rag and take some alcohol and clean that window off just to make sure uh, there's no foreign material on there. Sometimes during the manufacturing process it might be a, a little mold release or something on there to keep the glue from adhering. Now we use a high strength, high, high tech acrylic adhesive. 
So what you'll find in the stores is a rubber-based adhesive. So as soon as it get warm, it'll release and won't hold on your windows. So you still want to clean it off though, even though we use acrylic adhesive. For the so what I'm doing, I'm going around that track, right where that window is going to go over and get and clean it out. All right. So when you get your cover, when it arrives, you don't get a pack of tape, a uh, black hook, and you'll get a pack of black loop. Now, you put, I like, it really doesn't matter, but I like to put the hard side, which I call the hook, I like to put that on the window. And also, you don't get four inch radius cuts. It's gonna be labeled four inches. So if you get several windows, you'll know what window goes with what, the radius, and also each pack of Velcro is labeled. Like this one says 49 by 30. So you know that's for your 49 by 30 window. So we make it real easy for you. So now I'm gonna cut the uh, pack of die cuts off. And everything is uh, adhesive back Velcro. So you just gonna pull it back off here. This one we struggle with or not. Oh, I got it. So you just pull it off and you just put it in the corners like that. This the first thing you do is put your corners on your window. Just like that. Okay, that's one. Do the bottom one. That's that. Once you get your corners in place, then you do the straight Velcro, pop the pack open and put that in. So that's why it's important you get your die cuts right because it, it helps out with uh, making your window completely uh, blacked out. It is a uh, PSA pressure sensitive adhesive. So make sure you have it pressed down so you can get a good seal. Now this adhesive, while it is acrylic, uh, the initial bond is 80%. So you got 80% tack right now. After 24 hours, it's a 400% tack. So I suggest you know, when you first put it on, get it right and then leave it alone for a day. Leave your cover in place, let that the bond uh, fully cure out before you start taking it on and off on the regular. So now, uh, I got my soft side, my hard side, 49 by 30, I'm gonna cut that open and then I'm gonna apply that on the straightaway. So all you're gonna do is made it up to where the corner where you started, where your where the corner radius ends, and pick it up and just bring it across. It fits. This is a half inch wide Velcro. It fits right in the track um, of your RV window. It's designed to fit right in there. So it's no cutting, no trimming necessary. And you don't want to pull it. You just want to take the backing off of it and just kind of lay it in place. Real easy. Don't pull it. Just lay it in place. And it'll seal up just fine. So we'll come down to the edge right here where 
And you don't want to overlap it, but you want to cut it where two ends kind of butt together because if you overlap it, it won't seal on itself and it'll pull off. So make sure you do that. So now I have it up there and I'm gonna just cut it. Nice and tight. Now since I'm on the side, I'm gonna just do the, the drop, the vertical drop. Same thing, just pull the back end off of it and just lay it right in the track, nice and even. Now, older RVs, the trim ring is white. So we do have that option that you can order white for your trim ring, but you're always gonna get black to go on the back side of your fiber. You gotta have black at least on one side to make the RV black out, okay? So you can suggest that and the whole idea of this is being black so when you pull it off you won't notice a black ring going around or if we supply you a white when you pull it off on this uh, black surface it won't look like a white ring going around so you want to color match it to your trim ring. So we have that. Now I'm gonna go across the top. Just pull the back end off. Don't pull it, just stretch it across. Just pulling that off, exposing the adhesive, and just laying it in a trap. Nice and easy, real simple. Get it up to the other edge where we did the die cut. Lay it right in there. And we just gotta do this side and we're done. So now we have our tape in place. I'm gonna go around and show you uh, PSA, pressure sensitive adhesive. So I'm gonna just go around and press it, make sure everything's nice and tight. No air gaps, that's important. And then make sure everything's sealed. Anywhere you have gaps, whether if you have the Velcro gapped or light's gonna come through. Now, if you have an overlap, uh, the Velcro adhesive won't stick on itself. So you wanna make sure you kind of butt it up nice and tight, all right? And you don't have to be perfect. It's not a perfect install product. You can kind of, kind of forgive a little bit. So now we have that in place. Now, for the sake of time, and I have no table, I already put it on the back side of the fabric. Same thing, same principle. You just lay it on the edge. First put your die cuts on and do your straightaways and go around the whole the whole product. And now you have it. So the cover's gonna come to you. I'll cut to your exact size with the radius you put in the dimensions. And you just kind of line it up. Now this is our newest uh, cover. We call it Sketches. It's not even on the website. Maybe by the time this video gets published, I'll have it posted on the website for sale. But I just I just kind of like it. 
We call this sketches. And you can get this in uh, both uh, French beige and also you can get it in uh, gray. And that's it. Blackout Easy uh, window cover RV.